A loud knock on a door can be heard in the darkness. The sound lingers for a moment. Then a pool of light reveals Laura, 25. Her t-shirt is cut just a little too low. For 10 years, I've imagined this. And now here it is, summer. It's Sunday morning. The air is promising parks and pools and bee stings and playing catch until the kids flop home exhausted at the end of a perfect day. You have two children now. Summertime is family time. In summer, the mornings are happily absent of school bells and lesson planning and students, especially the students. The freedom of August. It had to be a day in summer. It's the way I've imagined it for 10 years. It's a long time lifetime. Besides, nothing bad ever happens in summer. The knock at the door again. The pancakes are on the griddle. I used to think you'd be flipping burgers. Remember I said that once to you, but I think I like flipping pancakes. It works. And she's making coffee, Sarah, the exact way you like it. Strong, French pressed, cream and sugar. You've tried to drink it black, but you just can't bear the bitter. The kids are watching some vile cartoon on the television in the front room. I can see them from where I'm standing. The younger one is plump. The older one has your chin. Their addiction to television embarrasses you because you wish they were readers. The knock again. Are you expecting anybody, Sarah? You call back to the pancakes as you saunter to the front door, your salt and pe pepper hair billowing. Who could be knocking on a Sunday morning? Who? It's me, Mr. Wells. Alan opens the front door. A manuscript sits in front of him on the porch. Laura gestures and the pages fly up and around Alan. The pages fly as we move back in time 10 years.